Um, you're not allowed to go near the, the thingy majigs, the dancing stage. stage. You're never, no, Emma, you're never allowed to go near the thingy majigs. Oh, the <laughs> stage. Sorry. <laughs> the B side word. Okay, Dev, you brought an article to the table this week. I did. And it's about strippers. Social strip distancing. Yes. Yeah, okay. Because... Yeah. Strip clubs, social distancing. It's not much to really say about the actual article, other than that there has been um, this particular one was an article in it was from Utah, and they've brought out the strippers. Everyone has to say they're one and a half meters apart. Everyone, the the dancers have to wipe down the poles after every routine. That <laughs> yep. Um, <laughs> so there's like shots of them with dis- disinfectant, wiping the poles. Um, you're not allowed to go near the, the thingy majigs, the dancing stage. stage. You're never, no, Emma, you're never allowed to go near the thingy majigs. Oh, the stage. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. Yeah. If, if you go near the thingy majigs, a big guy comes out and grabs you from the shirt. <laughs> so they can and only go to the... Does it, does it hurt, CJ? <laughs> CJ, does it hurt? CJ has experience. Does it hurt when they do that? <laughs> only the first it's time. It's a bit of a shock. <laughs> <laughs> so you can go and put your money on the edge and then immediately like step back and you have to get temperature checked on the way in, stuff like this. There was another one as well. You're really though. killing the mood, eh? I know. You're and everyone important. has to wear masks. Everyone in there has to wear masks. <laughs> I'm saying, you this have is to like the worst strip joint ever. <laughs> the only time you can remove your mask is to take a drink and then put it back on. Um, but there's another place that I saw and they're doing drive through strippers while serving food. <laughs> so that's food. the one I thought we talked about. No. That is the most American thing I've ever heard. In my yeah, life. that was... Um, that happened. That's that's been going for like probably a month now or something. That one's the, the drive through strippers. Well, I think there's probably different so, ones. So, so you go for the drive through, shows you a bit of boob, and you keep going. So <laughs> you order your food, and it's called food to go go. Well, they have ones where strippers Ooh. deliver the food, and then there's food to go go, which is the drive through. And so you get your own experience, like when you pick up your food. And um, so you're Emma, like, can you stop talking? I don't you want you to talk about down. because you're not. You hate this. You hate this kind of stuff. Oh! I'm cool with the, with the chatting about the right. strips. Alexander, tell when me about this. Tell me about this drive through. Yeah, I tell me about this. to a strip joint. <laughs> please, please don't take my sister to a strip <laughs> joint. <laughs> Why not? In fact, please don't take my happily married yeah. sister, mother to three kids to a strip <laughs> joint. <laughs> so she can see what it's actually like. Because she's obviously never been. Well, I don't know. 20, man. So, from <laughs> my perspective, CJ, I don't understand why men go to strip clubs. I, like, I still don't understand. I, yeah. neither, to be honest, I, yeah. I've never been. I go I to strip clubs because they're open later than other clubs. Sorry, what was that? Cause they're, yeah, because they're open <laughs> later than other clubs. Oh, okay. <laughs> and, so, and some strip clubs are actually like nightclubs as well. So there's a dance floor for you to dance on. <laughs> and there's. Sound like you've been to a variety of strip clubs. Lizzie. I know, oh, see. Yeah. <laughs> 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 That's not even why you got it, I have. <laughs> <laughs> what? See. What I found weird about this drive through go-go when I saw it, now, again, this is one that I sort of saw and was like, oh, interesting, didn't look any further. But what I remember was, it was kind of like, um, it kind of looked like it was in a car park. Yeah. Where they had these podiums that were obviously distant apart with, like, like you know, like those little metal fences they put out for, like, parades and stuff? Yeah. With those, like, in front. So imagine like a street of those fences with the dancers on on the other side of the fences and you drive through the middle of it in your car with your window up and stuff. And I, it, the whole experience is weird. I don't know why you'd want to do it to start with, but the fact that it looked like it was in a, the middle of a car park and like anyone could just watch. You, like, <laughs> From a distance. Yeah, you could just see all these people just go through. You've got their license plate if you want to. Like you, you're given like, it's, it's a really weird, yeah, I don't, get it <laughs> yeah don't understand. It rather... yeah more more of a like i think if i was gonna create an outdoor or drive through strip club i'd do more of a like you know drive through wash you know the where you wash your cars you Car get on wash. a conveyor belt <laughs> a conveyor belt one yeah and then you slowly yeah. and then you got you got windows window. <laughs> yeah you got windows on either side and the girls are just dancing but it's more like you know private here's a here's a picture from the food to go go one do you know what I saw today? Um, uh, this week. What? Um, it was a business called La- Lady Mowers. Yeah. They'll mow your lawn. Yeah. These these young girls will mow your lawn. 
CJ, are you? It sounds it, like there's more to that. Yeah, are you trying <laughs> yeah, to lead somewhere? <laughs> I, I assume they're mowing your lawn in like a outfits or something. <laughs> oh, okay. But even at, oh, again, even that kind of thing. Like, unless you have a private garden where no one can see in, like that's just awkward. Yeah, like, you it's can't awkward. do it if you've got a wife at home to start with, and if you're single, then you're, what are your neighbors gonna think? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, maybe your neighbors have the same Mowers. service. to go slightly away from strip clubs but i guess to go down this route of what people are doing i saw a picture it was only this morning actually it it looked like well it's casino floor whole floor is dead except for one craps table and they've got like you know like the edge so craps table is like a oh kind of like an overly type thing right yeah um and imagine now you've got a perspex glass going up probably like four or five feet above your head and around the table with a space you to put your hands underneath. So it's oh. almost like a ice hockey rink, <laughs> a miniature ice hockey rink. Yeah, yeah. And I'm just like, someone commented saying, if we have to go through like all of this just to be out, shouldn't we just stay home? Yeah. <laughs> and it just, it, like, yeah. <laughs> that is. No, but did anyone see the video of the people in Utah? They weren't maintaining social distancing. They're all close together. Which one? Just, just in general? Just, just, was there a picture of Utah <laughs> yeah. with people just hanging out? No, I, I saw a video on the news. Yeah. Where they're just all hanging out at the club, drinking. Yeah, right. There's lots I mean, of places in Oslo right now. Yeah, yeah there's you hear lots about of what happened in Korea because of the, the clubs and stuff. So they obviously they their uh, their rate has dropped so low that they started to reopen the economy and again, and they were like they're further ahead than a lot of the places. And then they got uh, they had to shut down all the clubs and bars again because someone positive when and loads of people start getting infected and stuff again um and here i don't know if you know about here what's happened here we've barely done anything change wise but loads of people have gone back to work and stuff and we've gone backwards already like it's been a few days and we said that our rate or basically i yeah i think i think the whole world's just making terrible decisions right now and Wait, we're gonna backwards. be worse what do you mean backwards? <laughs> this weekend <laughs> yeah what do you mean backwards like more cases again yeah, like we're going the wrong way. Yeah, I was just after, after today, going the right way for so long, also. we're now going the wrong way. Yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah. This stuff, this stuff. But you actually have to think about these poor young ladies who this is their way of making money. Only the fans. Last few weeks they've, they've been made no money. Only fans. I promise you, if you are a stripper, you are making lots of money right now if you have the internet, because there are. Oh. I, I I cannot. People I follow on Twitter who were wholesome people are now making like 30, 40 grand a month. It's oh absurd. Okay, can I tell you something? A quick, quick article that um, I saw from that OnlyFans thing. There's a person that doesn't usually subscribe to this kind of, like you said, wholesome people. And he got scammed yeah. the first time that he paid $35 to an OnlyFans. I've s- I seen the exact post you're talking about. Yeah. And it was like... Cause on Only because of the number value. <laughs> yeah, okay. And then like she... So the OnlyFans um, sort of advertisement was this happy face over her body. So it's like, oh, if you pay me money, you get to see... You could get to see all of me. And then he goes into the site and it's just yeah. bubble. Like, um, what do you call it? Soap and bubble. But, yeah, like bubble, bubble bath. Bubble bath. Bubbles. And so you don't get to see her anyway. So you got scammed $35 <laughs> to see the bubble bath. Aww. And it was the only time you used OnlyFans. Anyways, it was fun. It's honestly, it's the most absurd platform because yeah, on it, good. like I'm, I can't, I, I, I'm not exaggerating. The amount of women that have gone to it in the past two months is ridiculous. So like, and what I can't wrap my head around is the site itself. It's not a. It's not like a porn site or anything. It's it's just for people to support creators, content creators. But oh. women now have taken it as a well, cam girl. Um, but they, it's not like a live thing or anything. They just post videos and po- photos on it on their account, and you have to pay to see them. But you don't like. There's no pre. There's nothing like you. You literally are blindly going onto an account and paying. Yeah, I'll pay this much per month, and oh, then you get month? to see what you're like gonna. It's a subscription. It's, it's, yeah, it's a subscription. It's so the whole concept is bizarre. I don't know why you'd ever pay for something that you have no idea what you're gonna get. Like some yeah. girls have literally, I've seen them. They're they're saying like they have their monthly subscription stuff, and then people are paying, and it's just them like reading a book or something. What? <laughs> so what? Wow. Because yeah, they the money. Like you, can, it's not a scam, is it? Like you're not you're not promising anything. Someone <laughs> get me a wig. 
I want to make a fortune. <laughs> <laughs> Bearded lady. Bearded lady. <laughs> I bet you there's a market, Steve. <laughs> <laughs>